Leatherback, a Category 4 Kaiju that fought alongside Otachi in Pacific Rim. This creature was massive and designed like a gorilla. It had a set of 14 glowing tentacles on the top of its head. It's incredibly strong as it was seen to punch through Jaeger armor. It arose from the water to destroy the Jaeger Cherno Alpha. While Otachi bit this Jaeger's arm off, Leatherback held onto Cherno Alpha and smashed its head with its massive hands. It then rips the cockpit apart and kills the pilots. It has the ability to unleash an electromagnetic pulse wave. This was displayed in the movie when it was aware of Striker Eureka arming its missiles. So Leatherback charged up its EMP energy and part of its body near the back slams on this charge and it's unleashed in a massive wave that is a tremendous reach. This kaiju, like all the others, is naturally hostile and its thick skin is able to withstand more punishment during combat. It also has some heavier plated armor on its shoulders and along the back. Also, there's a crest plate on top of its head. Now, unlike the other kaiju that fought with her, Leatherback wasn't as intelligent. It seemed to rely on brute force and anger during its battle against Gypsy Danger. It ran on its knuckles like a gorilla and would even use structures as a weapon. It was mainly a land-based kaiju with a huge amount of brute strength, but it was killed by Gypsy Danger with its plasma cannon that blasted her chest open and then her arm was shot off. Now the battle against Gypsy Danger lasted a good amount of time and it was enjoyable, although I was hoping that the Jaeger Cherno Alpha would have lasted longer. And if all three Jaegers would have worked together during this battle, I think they would have survived. Now, I wasn't fond of Leatherback's design as a gorilla type of kaiju, but I did like the colors on its body, and I did like the ability of the EMP blast. So, what did you think about the battle between Leatherback and Gypsy Danger in Pacific Rim? Did you like Leatherback's design? Put your thoughts in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to see more content around Pacific Rim. Thanks for watching, my name is Asaglow, and I'll see you in the next video.